Hello friends, my name is host Eric and uh, I'm the host of Talking with Fantasy People. Today I'd like to talk about a serious problem that afflicts many of us, perhaps you right now as you drift along YouTube killing idle time with YouTube videos. That of ontological constipation. And I think a lot of times people aren't quite sure what's wrong with them. They think something's wrong. And the answer may be ontological constipation. If you do have ontological constipation, you'll need to have an ontological laxative later on. So first, let's find out if the diagnosis fits you. If you answer yes to four or five of these five questions, then I hereby, as a metaphysician, I'm capable of making these sort of diagnoses. You might want to share with them where you got your license. All licenses all the time, of course. The only really licensing place that matters these days, you know, pretty much it's the only license people take seriously anymore is all licenses all the time. Anyhow, uh, I'm a licensed metaphysician and I will diagnose you as ontologically constipated if you answer yes to four of these five questions. Number one, does your identity fit poorly with flow states in the near now? And what I mean by that is... <coughs> Are you finding the expression of the self to be one that doesn't correlate well with entering into a state of flow? That is, say, working and or playing without meta-attention. Just in the moment process. If it fits more poorly than usual, you notice that you're having more difficulty than usual getting into a flow state. That's a sign of ontological constipation. Number two. Do you have ideas you'd like to pursue but generally lack sufficient enthusiasm to initiate projects? Now, again, more than usual. If you're somebody who normally doesn't have much initiative to initiate projects, then perhaps you have almost none at this point. Uh, this happens when the identity gets backed up or compacted into the existential colon. Impacted, I guess you'd say. Number three, if you answer yes to that, again, be concerned. Number three, you have difficulty with follow-through on those projects you do initiate more so than usual. So there's the process of initiating, which typically means being enthused about an idea. And then there's the process of follow-through, which means remaining enthused about it and or being disciplined, one of the two, depending on the nature of the project and whether it's a good idea to follow through on. Sometimes it's not always a good idea, but... Assuming it is a good idea and you like it and you want to follow through, but you find yourself leaving it fallow. You do your chunk of time, you enter your state of flow, everything's going fine, and the next day it's time to come back to it, and you don't. If you're doing that more than usual, well, you maybe need to have an ontological bowel movement. Uh, number four, are you hesitant in decisions more so than usual? I'm sure on matters to which you typically give little thought. For, for, for example, Perhaps, under normal circumstances, you'd fire off that email to Joe saying, yeah, I'm going to write, write a little bit late, but I'll be there soon enough. But this time, you discover that you've, you you can't pull the trigger on it. You keep thinking, well, how should I board it? Blah, 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 blah. Are you doing that kind of stuff more than usual? Well, you know, you know what that means. Number five, do you have increased periods of quiet introspection and brooding? Now, if you're normally introverted, this would mean even more than that. If you're normally extroverted, this would mean more than, more than usual introversion. Uh, brooding. Brooding is a quality that definitely comes along with ontological constipation. So, a couple of quick laxative tips before I go in case you did answer four of the five questions, yes. Number one, make a, a quick and painless project about your own ontological constipation. I got done here because I am, in fact, so afflicted, so afflicted, yes. I'm not just a metaphysician who teaches people about. I'll go constipation. I'm a sufferer as well. 
Number two, if you don't normally do this, this would be out of character for you. Go out and get drunk. Go out and do some drugs. If you normally do that, stay home and clean your house. You gotta mix it up. Now, if after watching this video and trying my two solutions that I provided there, you're still ontologically constipated, well, you just need to instantiate more. Yes. Create instances of things. Link them to other things. And sit upon the meaning carpet you have woven. Then fly, fly away, friend, to a future filled with existential glory. The end.